Hello, I am Ahmad and we are going to continue the example we started for verifying the loads given on the anchor plate and we selected one anchor plate with four anchor bolts from Peiko products and we are checking the dimensions to deliver and transfer the given loads on the top of this through a concrete wall with the thickness of 400 millimeter and we determine the tension forces in the anchor bolts also the distance of the concrete being in compression then we went through the first two uh, criteria for checking the uh, steel failure and also concrete cone failure now we are going to continue the rest of verification The next item we need to check according to the code is the pull out failure of fastener. In uh, the footnote, it is given that not required for post installed bonded fasteners, but for us, it is a pre installed headed fastener. So, in our case, the question is not a single fastener, uh, but it is a group of fasteners, and we just need to check the most loaded fastener for this example as a result neb is 15.3 kilonewton we determined in the other video so it should be less than nrkp gamma mp and it is given in the other clause of the relevant code 7215 so what needs to be checked the capacity in pullout failure pullout failure as we can see is uh, sketched here that the entire bolt might uh, fail and this is another failure mode intention the characteristic resistance in case of pullout failure and rkp of post install mechanical and headed fastener is given in the relevant european technical product specification for headed fasteners the characteristic resistance NRKP is limited by the concrete pressure under the head of the fastener according to given equation 711. So K2 AH FCK. For us, FCK is 30 megapascal and K2 is given according to uh, instruction 7.5 for fasteners in cracked concrete and 10.5 for fasteners in uncracked concrete in this case we are assuming that the concrete is cracked uh, so 7.5 can be taken and AH is the load bearing area of the head of the fastener it's coming uh, with a very simple uh, idea as this is your head and this is the anchor bolt so the area uh, which is resisting this kind of failure is the concrete in compression so here we can see how it should be determined and the area of edge is uh, the area of the head minus the area of the anchor bolt so the a for our example is 16 millimeter and head diameter can be found in the given uh, technical manual in PECO product we selected simple welder so VD is 16 millimeter and VDH representing the head diameter is 32 millimeter DH 32 millimeter and DA is 16 millimeter coming from the uh, size of the head that you would select also this value needs to be checked in formula 712 dh should not be taken larger than 6 times th plus d th is the head thickness and d is the diameter of the anchor bolt coming back to the peco technical manual uh, the given dimension velda is bl and h b represents the width l the length and h is representing the depth of the entire product so it's the dimensions outer dimensions here we selected 300 300 by 165 and 165 is representing this height and h effective is 157 as we used it for different uh, verifications so the Head thickness can be determined easily 165 minus 100 
57. So I can bring this to our notes. So H is 165 millimeter and H effective is 157 millimeter. As a result, T H is 8 millimeter. So here we need to check the H is 32 millimeter and it should be less than six times T H plus D. D is 16 millimeter and T H is 8 millimeter. 48 plus 16, 64 millimeter. So it is, and uh, it means that if you are using a very uh, big head, then it doesn't uh, work effectively. And the maximum diameter needs to be limited to this six times TH plus D. As a result, we can easily determine the values. Uh, AH pi over four, 32 millimeter square, minus 16 millimeter square and the result will be i divided by 4 32 minus 16 so it's 603.2 square millimeter and then nrkp is k square is k2 times ah times fck so 7.5 times 603.2 square millimeter and times FCK was 30 megapascal. 7.5 times 603 times 30 megapascal, it will be 136 kilometer. And gamma MP, again coming from table 41, can be taken as given value. Here is 1.5, as far as it is written that gamma MP can be taken as gamma mc and it was 1.5 we determined in the other video then we can easily calculate the resistance so ned 15.3 kilonewton and nrd is nrk divided by gamma m so here 136 kilonewton divided by 1.5 is 90.7 kilonewton so utilization ratio in this case will be 15.3 kilonewton divided by 90.7 kilonewton and this is going to be around 17 percent this is also verified so the next item is uh, item number four in the introduction we discussed about the failure mode here is the combined pull out and concrete failure and there is a footnote uh, B not required for headed and post install mechanical fasteners as a result uh, we do not need to check this item so then we need to continue with the next item item number five which is the concrete splitting failure for this check or verification uh, again coming back to the table we are not uh, going with single fastener we have a group of fasteners and in this case we need to check the group so as a result ned is the group uh, force which is ned group is two times 15.3 kilonewton 30.6 kilometer gamma msp can be taken from table for one uh, for a splitting it is given concrete splitting failure and Gamma MSP is taken as gamma MC, which was 1.5. So we have also this value. Then the only remaining uh, parameter is NRK splitting. Now coming back to the code to check what is required. So in the class 7217 concrete splitting failure, the instruction is given. So during installation, is avoided by complying with minimum values for edge distances that are given in this code or in the relevant European technical production product specification. Concrete splitting failure due to loading shall be taken into account according to the following rules. A is the characteristic edge distance in case of splitting under load. C, C, R, S, P is given in the relevant European technical product specification and in B you can find out whether you can skip this check or you need to check it no verification is required if at least one of the following conditions uh, is met so item number one the edge distance in all directions is 
less than one times C C R S P for single fasteners and 1.2 C C R S P for the groups of fasteners. And the member thickness is greater than H minimum in both cases with H minimum corresponding to C C R S P. Number two, the characteristic resistance for concrete cone failure and pull out failure headed and post installed mechanical fasteners or combined pull out and concrete failure are calculated for cracked concrete. So here, this is the advantage if you check everything for con cracked concrete and reinforcement resists the splitting forces and limits the crack width to 0.3 millimeter. Usually concrete uh, elements are designed for uh, limiting the crack to less than 0.3 millimeter. There might be 0.4, but if you limit the concrete crack to be less than 0.3 millimeter, then this condition is met. Also, you might need to provide required reinforcement, which is given at the end of this clause. You can check it by yourself. As far as we went through the cracked concrete, up to here all the calculation we might be able to skip this part with providing enough reinforcement for a splitting force however if we go further to the code we can find out how to determine the concrete splitting uh, resistance i will go briefly to the calculation and we will check how it works if neither condition b1 or b2 is fulfilled the characteristic resistance of a fastener or a group of fasteners in case of concrete splitting failure shall be calculated according to the given equation 723 NRKSP is determined according to the given equation and also considering some other parameters which are explained then NRKSP P0 is given in relevant European technical product specification. You can find it by googling this European technical product specification. There are a list of NRKSP0 uh, according to cracked concrete or other conditions. Note NRKSP0 is not available in the if this NRK0 is not available in the relevant European technical product specification, this value can be conservatively calculated as NRKSP0 is minimum of NRKP and NRKC0 with NRKP according to 7215. We went through that. In case of post-install mechanical and cast in fastener uh, or replaced by NRKP0 according to 7216 in case of bonded fasteners, NRKC0 is calculated according to formula 7.2. If you remember and checking the other video related to concrete cone failure, this value is 95.9 kN. So NRKP is taken according to 7215 uh, in case of post installed and cast in fasteners, which we calculated already in this example. Uh, NRKP was 136 kN. As a result, NRK splitting zero will be minimum of these two values. 95.9 kN and 136 kN, which is 95.9. So the other factors need uh, to be determined according to the given instruction. NRK SP0 is now 95.9. ACN, ACN0, Psi, SN, Psi, REN, Psi, eccentricity N needs to be determined according to CCRSP and SCRSP correspond to the minimum member thickness, H minimum. You can find H minimum in the technical uh, product specification or in the PECO product. Also, Psi HSP needs to determine according to the given H, uh, the height of the product divided by the minimum H power by two thirds should be less than these two values. So for simplicity and shortening this video, I will consider these values as one and then NRKSP is determined as 95.9. This is very conservative 
And as I said, as far as we consider the cracked concrete, you might not need to check this also in the European technical product specification. It is clearly written that because most of the given values are for uncracked concrete and it is written that the splitting is usually neglected if you assume that the concrete is cracked. So then NRD for a splitting will be 95.9 kN divided by 1.5 it's 64 kilonewton. So the next check, NED of the group is 30.6 kilonewton and then utilization ratio for this will be 30.6 divided by 64 kilonewton, which is 48%. Now this is uh, the last check for the tension concrete blowout failure. And it happens when the tension element is close to the edge. For cases which requires verification C7218 item number one as the footnote of this item. Also we are not dealing with single fastener group of fasteners and the only check needs to be done with the group as a result uh, NED group is 30.6 kN and we just need to check if we need to verify this item or not. So it's uh, in clause number 7218, verification of concrete blowout failure is required in case of headed fasteners and for post-installed mechanical undercut fasteners acting as head fasteners if the edge distance is less than half of edge effective. So it means that if C is greater than 0.5 edge effective, then it is not applicable. So for us, see the edge distance, the minimum edge distance is 110 millimeter. We determined it earlier and half of edge effective is half of 157, 78.5 millimeter. So now this item is not valid. One more time, just to cross check how it should be read. Verification of concrete blowout is required in case of if the edge distance is less than half of so it means that if you have very close anchor bolt to the edge of concrete then you need to check this and verify that it's passing the required or you need to calculate the utilization ratio otherwise the control can be omitted so here we can write that this is not applicable concrete blowout failure is not needed to be checked so let's Recap what we calculated so far for the tension verification. We went through a steel and I can read the values according to former videos. For the steel utilization ratio was 26%. For concrete cone failure, we determined that it was 67%. Then we had the rest are coming to this one. The next one was pull out failure fastener so for pull out it was 17 percent the next one is splitting so number four combined we didn't need it number five a splitting so it was not required but we if we accept the calculation uh, then it's 48 percent again it was not needed and for blowout not applicable so these are utilization ratios due to uh tension the next phase is going through the shear force and checking other criteria in this video we completed the example we started to determine the utilization ratios and verifying the uh, anchor plate for a simple example a plate on the top of the wall and under given loads a compressive 120 kilonewton and 20 kilonewton meter bending moment up to this stage, we determined different criteria, including a steel failure, concrete cone failure, uh, concrete pullout, concrete splitting, and blowout concrete failure. And this is done for this stage. Now, the next stage is checking the uh, plate for the given shear force. Continue with that in the next video. Thank you. Bye.